construction of a $40 million grinding plant is underway in eastern Uganda. It is owned by the French-based Hima Cement, Lafarge. The plant located near the Uganda-Kenya border will raise Hima Cement's output to 1.9 million metric tons per annum. In order to cover that, that market, we've had to rely on our sister company in, in Kenya, Bamburi, Bamburi Cement, to supply some of the cement we sell in the east, north, and also to Sudan. Okay. So there was a necessity for us to expand. Uganda's cement industry is dominated by three companies with a combined production capacity of 3.3 million tons per year. And according to local manufacturers, the demand for cement is projected to grow by 9% per annum over the next three years to 2020. Demand for cement right now is largely driven by the infrastructure segment uh, and obviously the largest customer there being the public sector. Uh, so we're seeing a lot of growth in, uh, in roadworks, in dams, uh, you know, we have this SGR project that's coming online. So that's what's driving the bulk of the demand. Competition is set to increase with reports of major investments from the Kenyan-based national cement and expansion drives for Uganda's Tororo and Kampala cement. This bridge is part of the new Entebbe Express Highway, one of the major construction projects that are consuming much of Uganda's cement. This is not just a push towards improving Uganda's infrastructure. It is also a trigger for economic growth, which directly affects the demand for cement. Uganda is planning major investments in the oil and gas sector. The country plans to build the world's longest heated pipeline from western Uganda to the port of Tanga in Tanzania. In addition, there will be a refinery, two central processing facilities, and a major airport project in the oil region. In Rwanda, they're talking about a new international airport that is going to be uh, much bigger than the current one that they have in Bugesera. If you look at Kenya, uh, I mean, it's also growing at about, what, 7%. And in the Turkana region, there's oil as well. The increased investments in new plants is also set to force further price cuts, placing more emphasis on volume growth and efficiency as the major profit drivers for individual companies. Michael Balek, CGTN, Kampala, Uganda.